Hello soulmates. It is an absolute pleasure to have you once again on my channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please consider subscribing because on this channel I teach you how to do simple DIY fashion right there at your home. And today I will be showing you two different ways in which you could achieve a leg of mutton sleeve. So let's get started. So the, the things you're going to need, the things you're going to need are, you're going to need your basic bodice pattern. Um, this is a long sleeve pattern I have here. And you're also gonna need some tape and some more um, paper. So to get started, this is the first method, method number one. So here is my long sleeve pattern and I have it on fold. So this is, it's folded, put it on fold. The first thing you have to do is that you're going to find the midpoint of this, your seam, your inseam. You're going to find, so this is the bicep line, this is my elbow line. So you're going to find the midpoint between the bicep line and the elbow line and that's going to be this is that's eight and a half and that's going to be here so you're going to note that point then you're going to from about hit half an inch above the bicep line you're going to make a note right there so what you're going to do is that you're going to take your ruler and you're going to connect that line to the midpoint line here and then you're going to connect that same line to the elbow line right here and then you're going to cut that out you're going to cut it along this line like this but you're not going to cut it all the way through you're going to stop at very close to the end so that you could actually pull it apart so that's what I'm doing now I'm cutting on the line but I'm not cutting it all the way through because we're using the slash and spread method so be careful to stop at very close to the edge like this so that you could pull it apart you're also going to pull cut here to open at the top of the head of the sleeve to where the slash line starts. When you do that, you're going to take another pattern paper like this. And you're going to open up the sleeve like this. And what you're going to do is that you're going to connect the line so i made a line on this pattern paper it's it is like a guide for me and i'm going to connect this or mark this center line to the line that i've made here and i'm going to pin it down i'm going to tape that down so i'm going to put a piece of tape here to let it stay and I'm also going to tape the bottom down so it doesn't shift okay so now what you're going to do at this point you're going to spread your pattern so let me be careful with this you're going to spread your pattern like this but you're going to spread it in such a way that they are of equal distance you're going to spread it so that it's of equal distance so for instance at this point here i'm going to go up about 
let's see about maybe seven inches and I'm going to mark a line here that's from the center here I'm gonna go up about seven inches and what I'm going to do I'm going to go over about maybe six inches from that point from that seven inch point right there and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and ensure that you have it straight and perfect okay so I'm going to spread it out okay so here I don't have that so let me check again all right so there we have it so I'm gonna go down about half an inch lower than this six inch the seven inch point so that's about yes so I'm gonna go go down six and a half inches because I want it to be so six and a half inches and from that six and a half inch point so I went up six and a half inches and from that six and a half inch point I'm going to go over six and a half inches also six inches also so that's six into my six inch point so I'm going to note that and I'm going to take I'm going to put a piece of tape so that I don't lose it. So here I have it down, but I have to do the same thing at this point. Okay, so this is six inches, which is here. Make that point, and I'm going to spread it right here. Okay, and I'm going to tape that down so it doesn't move I'm gonna put it put tape there so it doesn't move like this then I'm going to connect these to a six inch mark going through the six and a half inch point there like this okay so that's the first step you can also so you can also put tape here so that that doesn't move also doesn't matter but like this so now you see that your leg of mutton sleeve is taking its shape but remember that the top of your sleeve is it's it's not very it's not straight like this so you have to make it curvy so to do that you're going to go up about depends on the, the 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 volume you want you could go up about maybe two inches okay and you're going to connect this point to this point and then to this point so i should tell you that the more you spread it for instance i did six inches the wider it's gonna become and you have to understand that the more you spread it the more fabric it's gonna take so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and make a curve I'm gonna use a pencil first to make the curve because I want it to be as curvy so you're gonna move from here and you're gonna go up I'm going to draw it with the marker for you to see so don't worry about me um, not I'm gonna redraw it so that it's nice and and straight with my curved ruler okay so don't worry about the pencil mark okay so this I'm just gonna go in and smooth out these this line as best as possible so okay I'm gonna smooth out this line as best as possible okay all right and then I'm gonna do the same thing here Make sure that your lines are smooth and looking good so here is number one also at this point you could 
redraw this if it's if the shape is not if it if the shape is distorted you could just go in and blend this up so that it's smooth so blend up these areas here so that it is smooth okay so now this is ready to be cut out okay guys so this is the method number one this is very easy to do this is method number one and you should remember that this is the front of the pattern and this is the back of the pattern so let me show you step number two or method number two all right so here is another pattern paper that I have or another um, sleeve that I have what you're going to do this is the elbow line you're going to go up from your elbow line about two inches here and you're going to connect the line like this okay so what you're going to do is that you're going to slash this open as we did and then slash it in the middle to the top. So I'll do that now. So I'm going to open here, not the elbow line now, but above it. And you're going to slash not too close to the that you cut it off like this and then you're going to open the middle like this also again and you're going to put be careful open it like this and you're going to connect the center of it and you're going to mark you're going to hold down the center like this sure that they are perfect and correct and you're also going to tape here so that you the pattern doesn't move okay so now what you're going to do is that you're going to spread this apart so the more you spread is the fuller it's gonna get so what I'm going to do is that from this point here I'm going to go up about four inches or so, four and a half inches, which is right here. It depends on how full you want it, okay? So I'm gonna go up about, say four inches, four and a half inches, and I'm going to put my mark there, okay? And I'm gonna tape that down. like this I'm also gonna do the same thing at this point go up four and a half inches and you're going to ensure so you're going to ensure that it is correct okay four and a half inches is there so to take it diagonally here okay and you're going to make ensure that it's the same thing that you did and you're going to tape that down you can also tape this side So 
so it doesn't move and tip and you're also tip, tipping the other side here okay so now that you have this what you're going to do is that you're going to make a curve I'm gonna use my pencil for this so that I don't make a mess of it so I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a curve from here all the way over to the other side like this okay and you're going to connect it to this port to this point to there okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to use my curved ruler now to smooth that line make it as smooth as possible okay so use your pencil first so that you don't get so I'm gonna make that curve here because remember the top of this is not straight so you don't want it to be straight okay so I'm going to curve this okay and blend it up to the other side okay Oops. so there you have it you can put tape here so that it doesn't move also I'm gonna tape it here so it doesn't move and I'm gonna tape it here there you have it so now what I'm going to do is cut it out front and back and that's it guys but remember also that at this point it's gonna be a little bit disfigured so you could go ahead and smooth that point out okay smooth those point out because of the slashing it becomes a little bit disfigured so that's it and I'm gonna cut this out okay so mate so today I've shown you two ways in which you could achieve a leg of mutton sleeve so this is the first one and this my friends is the second method so if you find this video helpful do not forget to give me a thumbs up do not do not forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video and I would like to know in the comment section which of these methods you like the best and if you have tried any other method I would love to hear about it until we meet again I'll see you soon bye